Bill Townley, a chap I've known for almost 60 years as a friend and a work colleague and as a super filmmaker. first bought uh, a Kodak Standard 8 uh, Sony camera and uh, it cost me 10 quid and that was the equivalent to about three weeks wages that was in those days. Your wages were just slightly under three quid a week and you got to live off that. So how could I make bloody films as well on three of you know, that? Anyway, I've got this camera and uh, one of the neighbours, he was a potter, he asked me to come to the Blythe Bridge Camera Club. Uh, so I went, and I went there and I made tea because they were busy. And do you know, I was at this camera club for three years, all I did was make tea because they weren't interested in making films. Over nearly 20 years, I went round taking that film just so people could have the pleasure of seeing it. I never, ever, ever made any money out of that film. It cost me money to go round and work and time and money and everything to go and take that film to show it to them. I never got anything back. I didn't do it for money. It is I was wealthy, I was skint. But the thing is, you did it. And that was the end of that. That's how we went about making films. A lot of patience went into it. A lot of patience. I made them laugh from some places, telling funny stories. Uh, but uh, no, it was a labour of love. That was about all you could describe it for. We needed a bridge in the film, a location. And uh, a chap I knew, he used to work on the railway. And he said, I know where there's a, br a railway bridge. I said, yes, over a river, yes. Well, when I got there, I looked at it, the bridge. You couldn't see it. It was like a jungle. Just then you couldn't see the bridge. It was obscured. So I thought, right, if I want to get a jeep and some action on that bridge, that was got to be cleared. It took a whole week before I could get a jeep to go across that bridge. And we pulled it off. It nearly killed me. So I didn't fall off. And uh, they gave me a lot of pleasure. It gave a lot of the folks pleasure as well. So it was worth doing. It got Jack Baskerfield uh, remembered because nobody had heard of the lad. And today, I think on the strength of that, uh, showing that film and making people in the potteries aware of him, we've now got a statue of him in the potteries. And uh, you could see that at the festival site, Jack on the gun. And I thought, well, there we are. You remember now, Jack? <laughs> So, another good job there done. Otherwise, I don't think anything would become of it, I don't, honestly. Yeah. You must remember that people are giving you their time. And uh, without their help, you wouldn't have had any. Well, I could advise anybody who is interested in making films, is it the very essence of the film? the story, the content. You've got to consider what it's going to do. And the main thing, have you got the bloody willpower to do it? And if you believe in yourself, you'll do it. You'll do it. Yes, you'll do it.